So recently I've been watching a lot of videos from President Biden and right now you can see that he's a lot less energetic. He's slurring his words more. She knew, lost. She knew so long as she was denied. Our freedom can never be secured. He's becoming forgetful. He's having issues with word finding. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. There's a lot of other videos that actually poke fun of him a little bit where he's falling. Um, he actually forgets like where he is or where the exit seems to be. And it also seems that he's becoming more forgetful and also just sleepy. Like he kind of admits that he actually kind of almost fell asleep as he was in his first debate with Donald Trump. So I bring this up not because I am against President Biden or I'm pro Trump or anything like that. I have no political bias here whatsoever. But I'm bringing this up here because the person running for president seems to be having a mild to moderate cognitive impairment. And I've done like probably 200 or 250 cognitive assessments over the last three years. And I can honestly say that the, the symptoms that he is showing in his recent interviews, and I would say his interviews over the last six months show obvious cognitive decline and it's the same stuff that i see with my patients where i where i really think that they should be taking a cognitive assessment so if i was to say right now what stage of dementia that he would be in based on just my observations, I would say he's probably a stage three or four out of seven with dementia. And I would say that's a mild to actually moderate stage of dementia. So I don't know if he has dementia, he may just have Parkinson's or something else, but he definitely has cognitive decline and it is definitely obvious. And it's something that we really should, I think, pay attention for this election um, going forward. I'm not saying you should vote for Trump at all. Now, I recently brought this news up with the speech therapist that I work with because speech therapists are also experts in cognition and what they told me is they thought that he had moderate to severe dementia which I don't think it's at that level I would say it's more to mild to moderate but I was just surprised to kind of hear the reaction because they definitely said that they're seeing something um, that is definitely visible and that's the problem too with just diagnosing dementia it's kind of like you're guessing um, even if you do a cognitive assessment you're still have to add some point say that you're guessing based off these symptoms, you're probably going to get worse. You're probably gonna start stumbling more. You're gonna becoming more forgetful. You're gonna have um, be less aware of your environment and you're gonna have more issues with problem solving or what we call executive functioning. Now, these issues are going to stack up over time and if he remains president, that is gonna become very problematic once he has to start making some big decisions or anytime he has to do some major problem solving. Now, now for, the, for just the daily routine, he's probably gonna be okay for the most part, but if he wants to figure out any new budget plan or any plan in general, he's gonna be mainly relying on other people and he's gonna be just acting as a puppet. So yeah, there is definitely this problem with just testing dementia overall, but I would say doing the Montreal Cognitive Assessment is gonna be a huge step forward, and I think it's gonna help just the American people have a much better understanding of where he's at. And it's a simple like five to 10 minute test. Um, it's kind of annoying that he's refusing to do it because it's just gonna give us a lot better picture of kind of where he's at so we can have an understanding is he at this mild stage is he at a moderate stage or severe stage and he probably is just a mild or moderate stage but it's nice to know um, going forward rather than just trust like what he thinks because the thing is when you have dementia and you start becoming more forgetful a lot of these people are actually in denial that they're having these symptoms at all um, very common for people to deny it and go about their day and they just ask people to stop talking about it almost just like he's doing right now focus on something else that's not the important thing when it really is the most important thing that we need to be paying attention to now why is it so important that he get tested right now well first of all it's just 
it's a huge election. We're about to vote for our future president. So I think that would be helpful. If he has to make any big decision, it would be nice to know if he has issues with short memory loss, if he has issues with executive functioning, um, if he has balance problems with the Mocha can actually show that somebody may have some balance problems or some visual problems that may impair balance. The Mocha test will also test for his ability to do abstraction. Um, I think that can be really helpful. And so it's just a nice test to get a general picture of where he's at. It's not conclusive. Um, I've tested people using the Mocha and they pass, but they still have some other issues. Now, just to kind of prove that President Biden is in denial of his cognitive status right now, he recently was interviewed where the interviewer asked him if he would be willing to take a test. And the thing is, he said that he already has. He said that he does it every day on a daily basis because of the, dis the difficult decisions that he has to make. Now, I know the president is making some tough choices every day, but the fact that he just denied to be able to take a test or, um, it, I mean, this is him pretty much saying he's refusing to take a test because he already is taking this test. It would be great to see President Biden draw a clock just to kind of see how he does, see how his, how his circle looks, to see if he has the right spacing between numbers um, I think that would be really helpful. Um, and then it would just be also really nice to be able to see his ability to for short term memory recall and also abstraction. Um, his ability to problem solve is going to be key um, going forward in this election and also in the next four years. Now, it's also really common for people that are in denial of memory loss to just start making excuses for this. And it's it's pretty obvious if you see it in the media, like anytime he falls, he kind of blames it on like the level of the stairs or the spacing between the stairs. He's complained about like being lost and just not having the correct format for how it should be to get on and off a stage, I guess. Um, he's said that he's just been really sleepy after a long trip. Um, that was how it was this last debate when it really, he had about 11 days to recover, which I understand. I know like after a long trip, it can take like a week or longer to recover. And especially if you're older, it's probably gonna take even longer, but he is making excuses for that. And then he's also sleeping a lot more, it seems like. I mean, he's talked about like getting, um, naps every day and going to sleep earlier, like eight o'clock. Um, so it there is like signs that showing that, that his age is really showing and that he's definitely needing more sleep than normal. When this is actually a symptom of cognitive decline, you start sleeping more, you, you become more forgetful, um, you start slurring your speech more. I mean, everything that you're seeing right now in his speeches and everything is obvious that he's showing these symptoms of cognitive decline. So the final question is, is he fit to be the president of the United States? Um, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Now, I think a lot of people would still vote for a president who has dementia versus Trump, but that's just the choice that you and they have to make. If you are interested about learning more about the Mocha, I'll put a link in the description where you can learn more or where to get testing. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments below. Like, tell me what you think about this whole issue and what do you think about his cognitive status? Um, I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day.